Pneumonia is an infection of the lung tissue caused by various bacteria, viruses, or fungi. Identification of the causative organism and drug sensitivity testing is the key to correct treatment. However, because of the serious nature of the infection, antibiotic treatment should be started immediately based on the knowledge of the probable um, causative organism and the antibiotics used for its treatment. The local knowledge of drug resistance and patterns are also taken into account. Treatment may be maintained or changed based on the um, culture results and assessment of the patient's response to initial treatment. In the event of the cultures of blood or sputum um, prove negative, um, empirical treatment is continued with clinical response as a guide. The severity of the illness is a key factor in a decision for admission and a choice of um, first or second line treatment. So severity is called for community acquired pneumonia as a um, KEP C U R B 65. So severity score may be based on the following assigning one point to each of the following factors, the maximum five points. So the first point is confusion, restlessness, or excessive drowsiness. Next is um, blood urea nitrogen more than seven millimole per liter and um, respiratory rates um, 30 breaths per minute or more in adults and um, 50 breaths per minute or more in children and low BP systolic blood pressure less than 90 or diastolic blood pressure less than 60 millimeters mercury and patients at the extremes of age less than five years or 65 years and above is a zero to one um, point you consider home treatment two to three points you consider short inpatient hospitalization more than three points admit and consider intensive care so in the absence of any of the following additional factors all cases of pneumonia would um, warrant hospitalization. Additional um, factors um, co existing diseases such as chronic lung disease, um, heart failure, or renal disease, or extensive disease, multiple loops involved, low oxygen saturation, as SPO2, um, less than 92% on room air, and severe tachycardia. Causes um, for community acquired pneumonia is caused by um, streptococcus pneumonia, um, streptococcus um, pyogenes, hemophilus influenza, Klebsiella um, pneumonia, um, mycoplasma pneumonia, and um, Legionella pneumophilia. Um, and this tends to occur in um, epidemics. And also, Staphylococcus aureus in children after viral illness like measles in diabetics and also in the elderly during flu epidemics. Aspiration pneumonia, the main causes are anaerobic or gram negative organisms associated with aspiration, such as. Uh, um, unconsciousness seizures and also stroke and also for hospital acquired pneumonia the causes are gram negative bacteria like um, pseudomonas originosa and mesa that's methicillin resistant stuff aureus and and vein rsc as well comycin resistant stuff aureus and stuff local first areas of course so that is uh um pneumocystis um, pneumonia and other fungi in um 
immuno suppressed states, for example, um, hematological malignancies, HIV or AIDS, and even viruses. The symptoms are um, fever, as a short history, productive cough, sputum, could be rusty or blasting, yellowish or greenish, pyritic chest pain, with words on deep breathing or coughing, breathlessness, um, sweating, muscle aches, elderly and immunocompromised um, patients may have minimum or no symptoms. And the signs that are usually listed are rapid breathing, grunting in children, um, use of accessory muscles of respiration and flaring of the nasal margins, lower chest wall in drawing in children, restricted movements of the affected side of the chest due to pain, and fever, rapid pulse rate, blood pressure may be low or normal, signs of consolidation or pleural effusion on chest examination, restlessness or confusion, drowsiness, and also low blood oxygen saturation by pulse oximetry only is less than 92 percent the complications are ampural effusion lung abscess and pyema pericardial effusion or pericarditis and pneumothorax particularly staph aureus infection and uh, pneumocystis gyrovisi uh, pneumonia also meningitis and um, septicemia with multi-organ failure and adult respiratory distress syndrome Investigations are FBC, C-reactive protein, chest x-ray, sputum gram stain and culture and sensitivity, um, zeal, Nielsen stain for acid fast um, bacilli to exclude um, TB, as well blood culture and sensitivity and blood urea and electrolytes. The treatment objectives are to identify patients at greater risk who require in-hospital management to um, alleviate symptoms, also to treat and eradicate the infection to prevent or manage complications. Non-pharmacological treatments um, are less in comfortable position, usually with head raised, sponging, to control fever, especially in children less than five years who are at risk of fever convulsions. Um, adequate oral hydration, if it can be tolerated, and chest physiotherapy. Pharmacological treatment for um, ambulatory patients is low severity score less than two um, the first line treatment you give amoxicillin um, oral in adults one gram eight hourly for seven days as high dose in children five to twelve years you give 500 milligrams eight hourly for seven days one to five years you give 250 milligrams eight hourly for seven days and six months to one year you give 125 milligrams um, eight hourly for seven days and also um, azithromycin oral in adults you give 500 milligrams daily for seven days and in children 10 milligrams per kilogram daily for seven days or erythro erythromycin oral in patients um, who are allergic to penicillin also in adults for erythromycin you give 500 milligrams six hourly for seven days and in children eight to 18 years you give 250 to 500 milligrams six hourly for seven days and two to eight years you give 250 milligrams six hourly for seven days and six months to two years you give 125 milligrams six hourly for seven days as a kind of line treatment um you give sephrozyme brow in adults 500 milligrams 12 hourly for seven days and in children three months to 12 years you give 30 milligrams per kilogram per day in two divided doses for seven days or um, in children more than 12 years 
he gave 250 to 500 milligrams 12 hourly for um, seven days or you can give doxycycline oral in adults 100 milligrams 12 hourly for seven to 14 days depending on severity it's not recommended in pregnancy lactating mothers or in children less than eight years of age hospitalized um, patients a severity score um, two or more or with, a, with additional um, factors as mentioned um, we give oxygen by face marks or nasal prongs in adults and children you maintain oxygen saturation greater than 92 percent and then um, IV fluids as um, normal saline and dextrose saline to replace estimated insensible loss also paracetamol oral in adults 500 milligrams to 1 gram 6 to 8 hour in children 6 to 12 years if 250 to 500 milligrams 6 to 8 hour and 1 to 5 years you give 1 to 20 to 250 milligrams 6 to 8 hour and 3 months to 1 year you give 60 to 120 milligrams 6 to 8 hour or paracetamol suppository in adults and children just like the doses i mentioned and then you give um, amoxicillin plus clav clavulanic acid iv you change to oral routine when um, the patient improves in adults 1.2 gram 8 hourly for 7 to 10 days and in children 3 months to 18 years and 30 milligrams per kilogram eight hourly with a maximum dosage of 1.2 gram eight hourly for seven to ten days and less than three months you give 30 milligrams and per kilogram 12 hourly for seven to ten days and also azithromycin oral in adults 500 milligrams daily for um, three to seven days in children 10 milligrams per kilogram once daily for three to seven days or azithromycin IV in adults 500 milligrams daily for three days revert to oral azithromycin when clinically stable and um, to complete seven days of treatment for children IV route is not recommended uh, for pneumonia treatment azithromycin infusion should not be given in um, shorter than one hour it should not be given as an IV um, bolus or as um, an intramuscular injection. If a second line treatment, um, you give subtriazone IV in adults 2 grams daily for 7 to 10 days. In children all ages, 25 milligrams per kilogram 12 hour with a maximum dosage of 75 milligrams per kilogram daily. And as a traumatizing IV. Uh, treatment of aspiration pneumonia first line treatment you give subtriazone IV in adults 2 grams day, daily for um, 7 to 10 days in children um, all ages 50 to 75 milligrams per kilogram daily in divided um, 12 hour doses or you can give amoxicillin plus clavulanic acid IV you change oral routes um, when patient improves in adults 1.2 grams 8 hourly for 7 to 10 days in children um, 3 to 18 years if 30 milligrams per kilogram 8 hourly with a maximum dosage of 1.2 gram 8 hourly for 7 to 10 days and less than 3 months give 30 milligrams per kilogram 12 hourly for 7 to 10 days or you can give ciprofloxacin IV is to be administered over 60 minutes and um, in adults 400 milligrams um, 8 to 12 hourly for 7 days and in children 10 milligrams per kilogram with a maximum dosage of 400 milligrams 12 hourly for 7 days and then metronidazole IV in adults 500 milligrams 8 hourly for 7 days in children 7.5 milligrams per kilogram 8 hourly for 7 days or you can give clindamycin IV in adults 300 to 600 milligrams six hourly for seven days and in children three to six milligrams per kilograms and um, six hourly for seven days 
referral criteria, you refer to the pediatrician or vision specialist if um, no improvement occurs. That is, um, if fever remains high, and the patient is still breathless or um, repeats um, repeated x-rays show complications or no resolution.